Hi, my name is Philippe. Behind me, there is an office building situated in a very, very busy road, very noisy road, and I have a client who asked me to build a recording studio where you could record music, playing music, electric guitar and singing. And it's quite challenging because he doesn't want to hear the traffic noise and he doesn't want the neighbor next door, like a lawyer or an accountant, to listen and to hear the music from the street. So we're going to show you what we did and uh, how it works. So you can follow me with your... Here we are. We are, not, we are now in the office room. Um, this is first a reception place. And uh, after that, uh, we have the, the recording studio that we did with uh, double walls, double acoustic doors, and everything is separate from everything. That's the idea, basically. So the first thing we had to do is to uh, soundproof the roof because this, we are on top floor here, and we can hear from the, the roof the traffic noise from, uh, from the front uh, road. And for that, we use this product. I'll show you. We, we use a um, very quite high density polyester acoustic pads. And on top of it, we install this product called um, Mass Loaded Vinyl. It's heavy and limp, and we overlap joints. Tape it well because this product must be very well sealed. And then we go, we cover the whole surface of the ceiling and we go over the walls going down to the ceiling next door. So the room is really, really, the ceiling is really well sealed. So that stops a great deal of sound going from the roof. Um, for the walls, what we did, we built the walls on a floating floor. So you can see here closely <coughs> we install um, some some pads resilient pads they are made of rubber and uh, we install on it uh, some 20 mil thick uh, fiber cement the reason we use fiber cement is it's very heavy a lot of lot, uh, lot of density and uh, so it minimizes the sound going through on top of that board we've installed a floating floor, a uh, timber floating floor. So we, we'll see the floating floor in a minute. Now, we have double walls and we have created a room separate from the existing room. So on the corner here, we finished the plasterboard here, but actually the, the wall finished here somewhere. We have a, that air gap between this existing wall and the new wall we did, but we just cover with a plasterboard the end, <clears throat> and we we seal. We don't see much, but we seal it with a special sealant, acoustic sealant, for fire and sound. So it, it stays elastic, and uh, there is no much vibration going through that way. Now we have here a box where the air conditioning ducting is going through. It's also insulated with some pads. And um, so we've got the ceiling insulate, and then I'll show you the ceiling how it's made of. But the ceiling basically, the, 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 we build a new ceiling on top of the walls, but we don't see now because it's hidden. But the new ceiling we did doesn't touch the existing ceiling, there is a small separation between both. So we try to have a room inside the room that doesn't touch anything as minimum as possible to minimize the vibration. So now we've got an acoustic door here, the first one. What we did, we installed two acoustic doors. They both 40, uh, 54 mil thick and um, with double seal, double drop seal on the bottom, as you can see. So when you close the door, there is a mechanism that push uh, rubber down. So we have double. And we also have a really good quality seal around the door jams. Now, because we have two doors, we create um, basically um, a, a drum. We, we have a drum effect. We, we create a cavity and we have a drum effect. So to minimize the echo inside the both doors, we have to put some sound absorber like this one here. 
and uh, we're going to do the same on both sides. We just put some, uh, some aluminum paper, but there is a gap between, so the door jams are not touching each other. This is only um, aluminum tape, that's it. But there is a gap all around, so the walls are really separate from each other. So on top of the door, you can see the door are made of uh, two layers of MDF board. Why MDF? Because it's heavy, it's dense, and uh, the denser the better for low frequency especially. And between, we put uh, a layer of uh, the same mass-loaded vinyl I just showed you, and it's all bound together. And that layers prevent both both of vibrating because it works like not just like a sandbagger but also works like a, a viscoelastic membrane you've got both both working and you've got much less sound going through one door now the door are very heavy as you can imagine and we use um, two really really good quality stainless steel hinges for the top and all together we have four four hinges so now let's go and have a look inside because that's interesting too